Dive into the heart of Poland as we explore Warsaw, a city rich in history and vibrant culture. Nestled on the banks of the Vistula River, Warsaw is not only the capital of Poland, but also a repository of its turbulent and triumphant history. With a population of 1,860,281, the city stands as a testament to resilience and renewal. Warsaw's narrative is one of rebirth. The city rose from the ashes of World War II, meticulously rebuilding itself into the bustling metropolis seen today. Its streets whisper tales of the past, while its skyline, punctuated by modern architecture, signals a future of promise and potential. From the cobbled paths of its historic old town to the sprawling greenery of Lazienki Park, each corner of Warsaw offers a unique story. The city's blend of historical landmarks and contemporary attractions makes it a fascinating destination for anyone with a curiosity for culture and history. With its dynamic history and modern-day vibrancy, Warsaw invites travelers to explore its unique blend of past and present. Japan, Tanzania, Ghana, Italy. Step back in time in Warsaw's Old Town, a living canvas of medieval architecture. The story of the Old Town is one of resilience and artistry. Founded in the 13th century, it was the heart of the city's public and political life for centuries. Imagine walking through the same streets that once bustled with medieval merchants and townsfolk. As you wander through this historic core, you'll notice that every brick and cobblestone seem to tell a story. That's because, following the widespread destruction during World War II, Warsaw made a monumental effort to restore the Old Town to its former glory. This meticulous reconstruction, based on paintings of the Italian Canaletto who captured the cityscape in the 18th century, was so accurate that it earned the Old Town a prestigious place on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1978. One cannot discuss the Old Town without mentioning the majestic royal castle. Standing proudly at the entrance to the Old Town, this castle has been the residence of kings and a witness to many a historical event. Today it serves not just as a museum but as a symbol of Warsaw's indomitable spirit. A few steps away is the vibrant Market Square, the heart of the Old Town. Surrounded by colorful townhouses, this square is a lively hub of activity. Here, street artists sketch the picturesque scenery and cafes spill out onto the sunlit cobblestones. The aroma of fresh coffee blends with the sounds of classical musicians and the chatter of locals and tourists alike, creating a lively atmosphere that brings the past and present together. The Old Town is more than just a historical site. It is a living, breathing part of Warsaw that continues to thrive. The streets here are lined with quaint shops selling artisan crafts and traditional Polish treats, making it a perfect place to find a unique souvenir. The Old Town not only showcases Warsaw's architectural beauty, but also tells the story of a city that rose from the ashes. Escape the city bustle in the serene expanses of Lazienki Park, Warsaw's largest park and a royal heritage site. Nestled in the heart of Poland's capital, Lazienki Park, or Royal Baths Park, offers a picturesque retreat with its lush greenery and tranquil water bodies. Originally established in the 17th century as a bath park for the aristocracy, this verdant oasis has evolved into a cultural and historical marvel. At the core of the park's allure is the palace on the isle. Majestically located on a small island in the park's largest lake, this neoclassical palace was once the summer residence of the last king of Poland, Stanislaw August Poniatowski. Today it stands as a testament to royal luxury and artistic patronage, housing rich collections of art and meticulously restored royal apartments. A short stroll from the palace leads to another of the park's treasures, the Chopin Monument. This striking bronze statue depicting the famous composer Frédéric Chopin beneath a willow tree has become a symbol of Polish cultural pride. On summer Sundays the area around the monument transforms as the melodies of Chopin's piano compositions fill the air, performed by internationally acclaimed pianists. These free concerts have become a cherished tradition, drawing classical music enthusiasts from around the world. Not far from the musical reverberations at the Chopin Monument is the Orangery. With its extensive collection of Mediterranean and tropical plants as well as a number of sculptures, the Orangery offers a year-round botanical spectacle. It also serves as a venue for various art exhibitions and cultural events, further emphasizing the park's role as a cultural hub. Lazienki Park is also a favorite among locals for leisurely walks, picnics, and boat rides, making it a lively yet peaceful gathering place throughout the year. 
Lazienki Park is not just a park. It's a cultural hub where nature, art, and history intersect. Dominating Warsaw's skyline, the Palace of Culture and Science stands as a controversial symbol of Soviet influence. Towering over the city with its intricate blend of Soviet realism and Polish historical details, this edifice encapsulates a story that is as multifaceted as its architecture. Constructed in 1955, the palace was presented as a gift from the Soviet Union, specifically commissioned by Joseph Stalin. This gesture, however, was met with a mixture of gratitude and strong resentment. To many Poles, its imposing structure served as a constant reminder of Soviet domination, a sentiment that lingers in the whispers of the city's breezes even today. Despite its contentious origins, the Palace of Culture and Science has woven itself into the fabric of Warsaw's identity. Standing at 231 meters, it is not only the tallest building in Poland, but also a bustling hub of cultural and social activity. Inside its walls, the palace houses theaters, a cinema, and over 30 different rooms and halls including museums and even an academic institution. One of the highlights of the palace is the panoramic viewing terrace on the 30th floor offering breathtaking views of Warsaw. From this vantage point, one can truly appreciate the city's blend of historical architecture and modern skyscrapers, a testament to Warsaw's resilience and evolution. The palace also plays host to various important cultural events, international conferences and social gatherings marking it as a key venue in Warsaw's event calendar. Whether it's the throbbing heart of contemporary cinema during the Warsaw Film Festival or the echo of classical music concerts, the palace has something to offer to everyone. Love it or loathe it, the Palace of Culture and Science is an integral part of Warsaw's historical and cultural narrative. Its towering presence is a constant reminder of the city's turbulent past, but also of its unyielding spirit and dynamic future. Feel the pulse of Polish sports and entertainment at the PGE National Stadium. Nestled on the east bank of the Vistula River, this architectural marvel stands as a testament to Poland's passion for sports and its commitment to modernity. The PGE National Stadium was born out of a grand vision for the UEFA Euro 2012, serving as a prime venue that captured the world's attention. From the drawing board to its towering presence, the construction of the stadium was a journey of innovation and ambition. The designers and engineers aimed to create not just a sports facility but a landmark that would resonate with energy and excitement. The result? A state-of-the-art arena enveloped in a vibrant retractable roof and a facade that lights up the skyline with a dynamic display of colors, mimicking the Polish national flag on game nights. The stadium boasts a staggering capacity to hold over 58,000 spectators, making it one of the largest in Eastern Europe. On match days, the air buzzes with the cheers of fans, creating an electrifying atmosphere that can be felt throughout the city. But the allure of the PGE National Stadium extends beyond football. This venue is a versatile canvas for a plethora of events. Imagine concerts where music legends perform under the stars, international conferences that draw global thinkers, and even family-friendly shows that transform the pitch into a stage for spectacle. Each event is enhanced by the stadium's cutting-edge sound and lighting systems, ensuring every seat is the best seat in the house. Moreover, the PGE National Stadium is a hub of community life. It houses restaurants, cafes, and fan shops, inviting people to linger longer and soak in the vibrant atmosphere. It's a place where sports fans, music lovers, and families converge, creating a melting pot of experiences and memories. The PGE National Stadium is more than just a sports venue, it's a vibrant gathering place for people from all walks of life. As our journey through Warsaw comes to an end, the spirit of this resilient city continues to captivate hearts. We've wandered through the historic lanes of the old town where every cobblestone whispers tales of the past and marveled at the grandeur of Lazienki Park, a royal park that offers a serene escape with its lush greenery and reflective waters. We've stood under the towering presence of the Palace of Culture and Science, a symbol of Warsaw's post-war revival and ambition, and we felt the pulse of the city at the PGE National Stadium, a modern coliseum where sports and culture converge. Warsaw is a city where the past and the future are intricately woven together, offering a tapestry of experiences that are rich with history and vibrant with contemporary life. Consider making Warsaw your next travel destination to fully immerse yourself in its unique blend of history and modernity. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss new videos on our top travel channel. Until next time, safe travels.